Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today we're taking a closer look at the Hydra, a very small but macroscopic freshwater invertebrate capable of regenerating parts of its body, living forever, and hunting its prey with an evolutionarily sophisticated poison dart gun. More on that fun stuff in a minute. Now you may have seen these in your tank, attached to rocks, driftwood, and even the glass like you see here. At first glance, the Hydra looks, and after that intro, sounds like a menacing aquarium monster, but in fact, they're classified as animals just like you and I. To fully understand the Hydra, let's put a few under the dissecting and light microscope, then talk a little about their morphology and physiology. Hydras attach to various surfaces in the aquarium using special gland cells located at their base, secreting an adhesive residue allowing them to anchor in a fixed position. The Hydra is of special interest to researchers due to their ability to regenerate parts of their body after minor and severe injuries such as amputation. They have this ability due to certain stem cells, which are also one of the reasons why this organism may just be able to live indefinitely. Researchers have discovered a set of transcription factors that control the ability for the Hydra to constantly renew all of its cell types, ultimately preventing the effects of aging. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's take a closer look at the Hydra's tentacles. At a magnification of 40x, we can see a more detailed structure, revealing the Hydra's secret weapon, a specialized cell called a kinetocyte. These special cells house an organelle-like structure called a nematocyst. Now not unlike a spring-loaded harpoon gun, the cell launches a tiny barb attached to a tether into an unsuspecting organism. Once the hook has been set, a toxin is released, stunning the prey so that the hydra can pull it in with its tentacles and have a tasty meal. Some of their favorite foods include organisms up to twice their size, like Daphnia, Cyclops, and other freshwater copepods. When hydras are in an environment where their food source isn't scarce, they'll begin to reproduce asexually through a process called budding. A genetically identical hydra will grow off the original and eventually break off, finding a home of its own. We hope you enjoyed this microscopic view of the hydra and learned something new. If you're looking for more videos regarding cell biology, I've posted links to two of my favorite videos in the description. More videos like these can be found in the members section of our website. And with that being said, don't forget to check out DIYAquapros.com for more aquarium science, project videos, and our free 15 tips. Hey, thanks for watching.